The court of Robert II in the mid-330s AC was a lively place. The young boy Oberyn Baratheon was already immensely tall for his age and was placed in the care of Tourney Victor Sir Raymond, who would tutor him in the art of sword fighting. The Oberyn preferred his great uncle's giant warhammer. Rhaenys Atroxieris, the dragon rider, had become an off-teen guest in the Red Keep, and King Robert and his children sometimes accompanied her to the dragon pit to watch her train her ever-growing dragon Drogon. It is said she even took the children with her on some of her flights. Robert, realizing the immense potential of having a dragon rider ally, appointed Rhaenys as one of his commanders. As a gesture of good faith, Prince Angram of Dorne finally released Robert's wife Loriza from house arrest in the Water Gardens in 335 AC. Robert hadn't realized how much he had missed her until she returned, and it's said that after Loriza's return, the middle-aged couple found a love for each other that had not been there before. The peaceful interim ended when evidence was discovered that Luthor II Tyrell, Lord of the Reach, had been viciously slandering King Robert. Robert, still holding a grudge against Luthor after his mother's failed scheme to inherit Highgarden, took this opportunity to order the arrest of the Lord Paramount. Lord Luthor refused to submit and raised his levies to revolt. He had expected much of the realm to rally behind him since cruel Robert was still highly unpopular, but Robert's marriage policies had paid off. While only the Stormlands and Dorne joined the crown outright, the other lords paramount stayed neutral. They had all married into the Baratheon family. King Robert donned his Valyrian steel armor and personally led his armies into the Reach. As it turned out, war was what he was born to do. Many recognized his great skill at command and his bravery in combat on the many battlefields of the Reach and the Crownlands, and especially at the Battle of Bitterbridge in summer 336. But Rhaenys the Dragon Rider turned the most heads. She and her huge dragon accompanied Robert's army to Highgarden, where Drogon proceeded to burn a breach into its walls, allowing the royal army to capture the castle within days. The war was won in early 337 AC. In a controversial act of tyranny, King Robert decided to execute Luther Tyrell, who was his direct cousin, and seize all Tyrell lands. His act of kinslaying lost him much of the goodwill he had built up. However, it did allow him to grant Highgarden and the Reach to his second son, Edric Baratheon. This appointment was accepted by most Reachmen. Not only did Edric have a strong claim on Highgarden to his mother, the young man was known to be charismatic, just, merciful, and a hard worker. Once the Reach had been defeated, the royal armies turned northwards to attack the Lannisters of Riverrun, who had joined the rebellion. They were quickly defeated, and the Tullys, who had ruled the Riverlands from the castle of Southstone, were returned to their ancestral seat after nearly 40 years. With the death of Sir Olimar Risley, the Old Hand, and Sir Robar Royce, the Rainbow Knight, it was clear that a new era was dawning in Westeros, one dominated by a generation who had not lived through the War of the Five Kings. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JGL Gaming, and welcome back to your boy, Robert II of the Iron Throne, who has a major, major problem because <laughs> a dragon has settled. Uh, this is Rhaenys Atroxieris, so uh, we have allowed to keep her dragon. She, she, she's headed for, I think, since almost since the death of, of Daenerys Targaryen. So for a very long time, she has she has she has, she has been the uh, the friend of this dragon. Eighty three twenty, she died. Yeah, eighteen years, something like that. Seventeen years, uh, but she died, uh, and now uh, we we allowed her to uh, keep Drogon in the dragon pit, uh, and we, we 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 looked at how she trained this dragon. We 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 had our masters uh, look at it, and now the dragon is free. So yeah, there's of course only one thing we can do. <laughs> We are Robert Baratheon, uh, we do have a dragon pit, so that makes taming this dragon a bit easier. And so that's what we're gonna try. We have some Targaryen blood uh, in us, very diluted, but <laughs> it's there. Uh, let's see, yeah, we, we have of course, uh, Esther yeah, Rayella Targaryen, my great-grandmother. Uh, she uh, she was a Targaryen, and of course our, our, our dynasty started uh, with uh, Oris Baratheon, who is a... Uh, where is he? Yeah, he's, he's a bastard son of Arion, uh, who is a father of uh, of Aegon the Conqueror. So we are related to Aegon the Conqueror as well. So 
we have some affinity for dragons. Hopefully, uh, let's also hope that the maesters uh, found a way to for us to tame it. So, uh, yeah, there's only one thing we can do. I think Robert has has has, has uh, found some found some of his confidence again uh, after the war we fought against the Tyrells last time. Um, so let's see, let's see uh, if he is able to approach Drogon, who is locked in the dragon pit. So that makes it a bit uh, a bit easier. Okay, let's see. Something must be done about it. Yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm a bit scared, guys. <laughs> I think I did uh, turn the dragon probability taming chance a bit higher than it normally is. So I think we should we should have a good chance to face the dragon. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Which dragon of King's Landing shall I face? There's only one game. Drogon. You will face Drogon. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm very curious to see what will happen. I have sc you have scoured the area in search of Drogon. Yeah, I scoured the area. He's in a dragon pit, man. <laughs> it's not that difficult to find. It's like one of the most prominent buildings in uh, King's Landing. Um, you've scoured the area in search of Drogon, and now we have him finally cornered the beast. How shall I deal with him? You are mine. I will slay the beast. Better not stay here then. You will attempt to tame and mount Drogon. Yeah. Come on. Oh no. You have failed to tame Drogon and will now face the consequences. 20% chance of dying. 50% chance of getting wounded, maimed, burned. Okay, let's see what happens, guys. And we died. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I was killed by the dragon Drogon on the 14th, 8th moon, 8338 at age 38. King Robert II in his last breath, he was killed by the dragon Drogon. Cursed with an unhealthy love for food, Robert was known for his massive girth. <laughs> and he had caught where fearing that this, that this habits would lead him to an untimely demise for years before his death. Yeah. Game. I don't know why that's what you're focusing on. <laughs> we uh, we were one of the most cruel rulers of the uh, of the of the Iron Kingdom uh, ever since uh, since uh, King Aerys the Mad. But here we go, King Oris. Oh, he's wearing the the crown of flowers. That, that looks good on on him actually. And his wife is also wearing some kind of crown. It seems. Crown of what a strange crown, Lady of the Veil. Vale. Okay, well, I, I think this crown that he's wearing in that picture suits him well. So let's see if we can find that one. I guess it's like the crown of flowers or something. Crown of majesty. Renly's crown. Hmm, I don't know which one it is. We're probably going to wear maybe Aenys's crown. That looks okay. Aegon the fourth crown, massive crown. No, that's too big. Egg on the third crown, the, the small. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wear that one. It looks a bit looks looks quite elegant, I would say. All right, King Oris of the Iron Throne. Okay, our our dad died in his last and only act of uh, <laughs> of uh, of bravery. Um, so I think are we gonna immediately try again? We should, right? We should. Uh, we need a bunch of new people in our council. We need a master at arms. Uh, Theon. We're missing some people, I think. Oh, no, not, not, not that many. We could have Theon. Why does he hate me so much? Threatened by claim fabrication. Okay. We found something else to be angry about. Okay. Lord of Wentwater. Lord Desmond the Merciless. Lord Giles, Lord Paramount of the Vale. Yeah, I think we will appoint him. He's my, yeah, my brother-in-law, right? So he's, uh, he's, he's an important guy to keep as an ally. So be it. Okay, your grace, his king Robert. Your grace, his grace, king Robert has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Prince Oris Bratian, will take the throne and will rule the seven kingdoms henceforth. Long live the king, yes. Okay. Well, will we immediately attack Drogon again? Well, we already have a daughter, a three-year-old. Who are we married to then? Oh yeah, of course, Jelena uh, Risley. Yeah, great. Is she the heir to the Vale? Yeah. All right, interesting. Very interesting, in fact. Do we have any chance of killing this guy? Maybe. Okay, let, let, let's let's wait with the plotting uh, for uh, for a while yet. Prince Sylvina, Sylvina. We rename this kid. I guess not. Um. I, I guess my wife can raise her, right? Where is she? 
Uh, who will we, who will we have? To, who will we have to train? Not the Queen Dowager, maybe. Yeah, the Queen Dowager. Why not? All right. Uh, create a treasury. Yep. Uh, as per law and custom, a bunch of wealth has been divided between three kinsmen. Okay. My father deserves to be honored at the funeral. Yes, definitely. All the lords and ladies of the realm are invited. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's important. It's important to uh, to start your reign with uh, with a good coronation ceremony and a good uh, uh, funeral for the predecessor. So what will we do? Have a son. Expand realm by conquest. Make the aid. See the realm prosper. I think have a son is probably the first priority. So let, let's do that first. Uh, Master of coin. Stefan. Yeah, he's pretty terrible. Maybe we should find somebody better in the realm. Gregor Westerling. He's a Westerling, so that's good. He's, uh, is he the heir to... The heir to the kingdom of the Westerlands, alright. In that case. Uh, oh, why do you not want to join me? Grand land the title. Okay, I guess we will need to borrow some money. Can we not borrow money? Maybe we already, we already have a loan. That's probably it. Yeah, probably. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have done such a such an extravagant uh, funeral then. Okay, a master of coin. We cannot uh, we cannot pick the guy we want for now, so we will have Harry Rivers do it. Miles Swigert can be our uh, our master of whispers. All right, that's fine. I, I think that's fine. He is ambitious, so that's that's probably not a good idea. Queen Dowager Risley. Oh, my wife. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, we're first going to get the crown, though. We don't have any money, right? <laughs> we need to we need to make some money first. I guess a master will be appointed to me. Okay. Well, before we do anything, let's prove ourselves by facing this dragon. Drogon. Come on. Ah, okay. We need a new master. Okay. Pretty great one. Uh... My roots may be reachment, but I identify more with the Kingslander people I rule. That's fine. We can become Kingslander. <laughs> it's not important right now, guys. <sighs> you are mine. What have I done? I have been grievously burned. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is there anything we can do to improve our chances of uh, taming this dragon? Like, can we maybe, you know, search for... I think I'm going to look that up, actually. I think I'm going to look that up. I've been grievously burned. All right. Okay, well, I guess uh, we will not uh, do anything about Drogon for now. <laughs> we uh, we have a burnt face. <laughs> okay, well, we are burnt <laughs> from dealing, trying to deal with the dragon, but we're still gonna have uh, a grand uh, grand funeral ceremony for my uh, my my uh, my father. Um, yep, we're gonna do this to the massive a massive feast. I think people like me probably already more than they did my dad, right? Oh, not that much more. <laughs> Open enough predecessor. Yeah, okay. I don't know what threatened by claim fabrication me means. Are we trying to fabricate a claim? I don't think so. Like a bunch of them have that. Fabricated claims on my lands. Minus 60. Jesus, okay. Set up a claim fabrication. Okay, I guess it will go over in five years, but I'm a bit, <laughs> a bit annoyed by it. Oh yeah, of course we're gonna have all these <laughs> all these uh, these uh, these lords to deal with while <laughs> our face is uh, slowly healing from dragon fire. Uh, he claims that whilst he was detained by Lord Paramount of Gretchen, he was barbarically tortured and mutilated. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Come on, uh, Edric is a just charitable uh, family person. No, no, no. He's not, clearly not guilty, indeed. Lady Shirella Blackbar used her attendance to. Uh, uh, she claims that raiders under the command of Lord Edmund, Edmund Drum have been raiding and looting her lands. Oh, uh, yeah, pay some recompense, please. A large portion must be set aside. Uh, now nah, we will do the standard portion. We have no money. That was well spoken. Thank you. Mir Miria Mullendor. Thanks. Uh, Sir Lord. Uh, pres present the petition. Yeah, but he's not telling me what the petition is, so I cannot judge it. So uh, we're not going to deal with it. I made sure the beautiful Lyra would be my dinner partner. And during the feast, I kept refilling both our glasses with mirish fire wine. My charm and my winning smile made it impossible for her to stay unresponsive. And it didn't take long until 
She looked at my at me with more than interest in her eyes. Are we trying to uh, seduce her? Hmm, she's attractive. What would Oris do? Is he uh, an honorable guy? Hmm. Not really. Hmm. I'd like to flirt, but it wouldn't do anything more than that. I'd like to show you the castle, especially my bedchamber. Ooh. She married? Yeah. Mm, okay. A night to remember. All right. 25% chance of, uh, of she be her becoming pregnant. Uh, Sir Richard Hawke has used his attendance. Uh, he claims that Lord Bolton... Uh, Lord, Lord Ramsay Bolton <laughs> made an attempt on his life. Yeah, I can, I can believe that. Yeah, let's arrest him. Lord Ramsay Bolton evaded capture and is refusing to come to the King's Landing. He now raised his banners in rebellion. Lord Loris Baratheon will be sent to squash this rebellion. 76 gold, really? Okay. Man, we're losing so much money. Please dig in, my lords. Maybe we should sell something. Maybe we should sell, like, this skull. I kind of want to keep the skull of Balerion the Black Dread. But it's got off Melee's the Red Queen, and I don't really care about that. 100 gold, sure. Here you go, my man. Can we sell anything else? Crown of Winter. We have a bunch of books that we cannot really do anything with, because we're idiot, an idiot, apparently. <laughs> yeah, learning five, okay. Should we try to seduce our wife? Yeah, let's do it. That's uh, something I, I miss in the base game CK2, is you cannot seduce your wife. You can do it in the, in the Game of Thrones mode. Okay, the, the pie one again, great. So bring all my seduction skills to bear on my wife. As used to tenders, eh? Uh, so it is on her. Illicit relations with his wife. Yeah, you can pay a fine for that. It's the standard one. So it is done. All right, we, as the Silent Sisters, finish the preparation of the deceased. The body of King Robert II is brought to the local set and laid atop the altar at its center. Canopic jars of ornate designs are placed at the feet of the dead and the eldest child, that's me then, I guess, places the death stones upon the closed eyes of the deceased. One by one, those closest to the departed in life make their way into the set and speak their goodbyes, shed their mournful tears and pray to the seven for the dead. As the day winds down and the last goodbye is set, the body is carried by kin along the crowd-lined streets to its final resting place. As the sun fades away, a great feast is held, and those who knew the dead recount stories of the life and deeds of the lost. Okay, <laughs> he was a man who was immensely fat. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> that's a bit... Uh, uh, that's not really... That's not the only thing, surely, that people remember about King Robert. <laughs> An inspiring sight for the people, eh? Come, bow before your king. Bow, you shits. I confess my love. Yeah, I confess my love. Uh, let our love grow, yeah. Great. We love our wife. Fantastic. My courtier, Sorella Durandon. No, I will not grant you permission. You cannot marry. You're a Durandon. Did, uh, did, did people already defeat uh, Ramsay Bolton? Ramsay, my man. Uh, we want to imprison you. Send you to the wall or execute you. Ooh, some money. Great. Thanks, Harry Rivers, my master of coin. That put us out of debt again. That's great. That's great. Now we just need to repay repay some kind of loan. That's going to be due in, uh, in, in, in three or four years. All right. Can we not just do that? Buy a mask now. No. We don't need to. We still look pretty good. We're a bit burnt, but uh, that's not too bad. It could be worse. Okay, I'm, I'm just thinking about what we're going to do with with this, this dragon. Oh, you're nothing, man. You, you just started working for me. Screw you. You are my Master of Whispers, though, so we might want to replace you. Um, oh, he's not my Master of Whispers. He's something else. We already replaced him. Okay. We'll give you some coin. General of Pentos. No, no, no. We're not gonna we're not gonna give you money to, to move against our son. Or our brother, I should say. Uh, meeting of the small council recommended that this guy be named a master of the king's Guard. Who died then? Oh Balen Swan at age sixty nine. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna we're gonna find somebody. Morton Selmy we have. He's got ninety personal combat skill, he's a Selmy, so he's probably related to Barristan sell me, I guess. Okay, well, I cannot find him, but 
Morton Selmy seems a pretty good, uh, pretty good candidate. He has a strong claim on the Kingdom of the Reach, so that will hopefully uh, be uh, be uh, <laughs> be dealt with then, because he will he will not be able to press it. Okay, great. He becomes the Lord Commander of the not not the Lord Commander. He becomes the new King's Guard member. Great. Welcome, Sir Morton Selmy, 22 year old, some new blood. That's great. Yeah, we need to think what we're gonna do with this dragon. I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna look up. Uh, how to deal with it uh, after this episode because I, I, there's probably something we can do to improve our chances of uh, of dealing with uh, with the dragon maybe it's maybe switch to martial focus maybe that will help or hunting okay let, 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 let's uh, let's do that after this episode otherwise uh, maybe I will just die immediately again how old is our wife 19 okay so we're still plenty of children that we can uh, potentially uh, produce very nice First it's time I asked uh, Queen Jelena to spend some time with me. It's probably the fastest way to gain her trust. She already lost me, man. Time is not right. We will we'll stop swaying her. I don't know why we're swaying her. We're swaying two people. We're swaying uh, Lord Paramount uh, Theon the Red. Uh, Lord Lothar Fey has been a little unable servant. Yeah, we've given him everything. We're not going to give him any more. I don't think. No, certainly not 75 gold. Come on, man. <laughs> We didn't remove jack shit. I don't know what the game is doing. Yeah, there's a couple of bucks in this mod still. Even after all these years. Especially when you're changing court members around. It goes wrong often. But Ormond's claim on the reach. Hmm. I'll do that, ma'am. Can we uh, command you to end the war? Do it. We'll be branded a traitor. In prison. Oh, so he, he, he fled to the court of Lord Einar, oh, Einar Targaryen. Okay, so Einar Targaryen has a potential new Lord of the Reach. I hope that didn't uh, didn't incur, incur tyranny. I didn't really look at that. Doesn't look like it, though. That is interesting news. So I have found a plot where Prince Stefan Baratheon seems to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of the Stormlands. Okay. Can we... Uh, we, will have move, we will move the crown focus here. I kind of want to designate this... Title as the traditional air title, if we can. I guess we can't. Okay, well, whatever. 23,000 people are here in uh, in Dragonstone. Eh? What, what are you doing, man? Enforce justice against Lord Ramsay the Cruel, yeah. Oh, Lord Ramsay is winning. <laughs> okay. Ramsay, my man. Surrender. Surrender, dude. Okay, well, man, I hope Ramsey doesn't get a hold of my uh, <laughs> my my uncle. <laughs> that would be a big uh, a big problem. <laughs> he might cut off his penis, you know. Ah, maybe a grand tourney of Runestone. Yeah, we will we will join. We uh, we want to prove ourselves. Oh, we are great. We are fantastic. Wow, ninety five personal combat skill. Huh? Our brave is plus twenty. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. And we have a very good Valyrian steel armor, and we have Heart Eater, which is I think a Valyrian steel sword. Not quite sure about that, actually. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's a Valyrian... Uh, it's just a regular sword, but it is pretty good. Uh, Blackmail, obligate this guy. Let's obligate him. He's Nor a Nordman, right? He's just... Very nice. He's not joining any faction revolt. Kai Poo has arrived at my court. A Yeetish woman. Former slave. Okay, interesting. Whilst chained up in the dragon pit, Drogon has been observed to suffer from frequent bouts of uncontained fury. He is constantly struggling against his chains and has burned and maimed many of the guards whilst they have tried to control the dragon. Some fear the beast will do himself harm if kept locked up like this. 23% chance, percent, ch percent chance of getting maimed. I think that's a good thing actually because if he gets maimed then the chance of taming him is higher. Oh, I already lost. Man, I'm, I'm not getting lucky, eh? I'm not getting lucky with, with these tournaments. I'm really not doing well. Even though I'm a pretty good fighter, I should have won that. I had a lovely d dinner neighbor, and after some wine we were a bit drunk, and if I read the situa situation correctly, more than attracted to each other. Mm, Jaina and King... Gianna and King Oris. To this woman. Um, but we are both married, yeah, come on. We, we, we are lustful, but we're not a dick, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> I say that. <laughs> we, have, we have three lovers. Only one of whom is, uh, is, our, is our wife. Okay then, Aline. Aline. Okay, well, fine. They're both uh, they're both attractive. My wife is 
All right, well, I think she looks pretty good, but she doesn't have the trait attractive. This should be good. Let's see how the tourney goes. Grave news, your grace, your bloody flux have broken out in Storm's End. Okay, that's consumption, right? God help us. Is there, are there any other, other diseases going on right now? Oh yeah, in the north we have the Grey Plague. That's also pretty bad, actually. Uh, Sir Raymond is uh, winning again. He is our tourney champion. Uh, Mitch, Mitchell. Ro Roger Hawk has won. Alright. Roger Hawk versus uh, Raymond. Raymond is winning again. Good going, uh, my man. You won a grand tourney and a small tourney. Oh no, two grand tourneys. Good man, good man. I think we could try to investigate some legitimacy of, uh, for example, Simon. 57%, yeah. Because uh, he doesn't have black hair, as uh, people have pointed out in the comments. And I, di I did try to look it up. But uh, it, d it doesn't look like any of them are bastards. But, you know, they might be. We can abdicate. I'm not going to do that. And then uh, fabricate evidence of Ill illegitimacy. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. We either have evidence or we don't have. Face the dragon. Okay, yeah, we, we will wait with that. I've <laughs> said that a couple of times now, but... It, I, uh, I get triggered by this decision uh, thing, because it's usually a very important thing. Uh, so I usually would just want to click it immediately, but this time uh, <laughs> we have to wait a bit. We have to also get some money. Uh, we should get crowned at some point. We have now minus two vessel opinion. Uh, we have a dangerous faction. Which one? Depose King Oris. Really? Why do you guys want to depose me? Master with arms. Oh, Paramount Commander. Why do you guys want to depose me? Why don't you like me? You like me just fine, it seems. You have a female heir. But, you know, whatever. Heir educated with foreign culture. Okay, we can do something about that, I guess. We can have someone who is a, as a, king's, is a king's lander. Uh, the Maester? Yeah, sure. Maybe that will help. He's also a king's lander, yeah. So that hopefully will give uh, plus 10 opinion. Yeah, does lo lo looks like uh, looks like it did. So that's good. Sometimes it's a bit arbitrary what these opinion uh, analyses are in this in this mod. Sometimes it's very unclear. J Lady Janae Wester, uh, Janae of the Westerlands, Lady Lady Janae's claim on the Westerlands war. Uh, R Lannisters, Lannisters are are doing are trying to attack the Riverlands. Oh, sorry, the the Westerlands, trying to restore their primacy there. Who who has joined them? Okay, only a couple of lords. Can we command you to stop? Yeah. Don't do that, man. I will, of course, obey you and enter, sh enter towards your command. Uh, should command. Okay, great. Ah, that also improves our opinion of uh, Lord Paramount Reynald uh, quite a bit. Hopefully he will now uh, leave the faction. That would be nice. Come on, man. Leave the faction. You love us. <laughs> okay, two stewardship for Prince Oberyn. Great. Good news. Oberyn is turning out really well. He is, he, is, he is actually actually great. <laughs> we might need to... Uh, he, he really needs to start training again. We cannot force him to train anymore because we are not, not a good enough fighter uh, ourselves. My lover Alin has informed me that she's pregnant with my child. Okay. How do I want to educate my daughter? Oh, we don't have really the money to spend on her. But she is our heir. So I think we're going to have to give her an exceptional education, right? She's our, she's our direct heir. And we might die when we face this dragon again. Uh, extensive military knowledge to impress Lord Paramount Theon. Yeah, let's try that. I'm pretty, uh, pretty good uh, military guy. Yeah, it seems that the, the faction has disbanded. Faction to, dis to depose me? No, it hasn't. Man, why are you in this faction? <laughs> Offer non-aggression pact. Yes, okay, then he will, move, he will leave the faction, I guess. No wise choice. Great, he, he left the faction. My brother-in-law, he probably also wants an aggression pact. Yeah, great. A thief for his own to of his own to govern. I mentioned the wall. Yeah, screw you, Simon. Now we just need to restore all the non-aggression packs. I think we're also... Yeah, she uh, he's married to... I think one, we, we married one of one of his kids to in, into our dynasty. So yeah, we can also give him an aggression pact. But he doesn't want to. Okay. Who else can we... Can we do Dorn maybe? I think we're married to... 
to his kid. Yeah, of an aggression pack, great. A wise choice. All right, probably other oh, Stormlands is already under under us. The Veil is already under us. What about the Tullys? I do believe we we married someone in the Tully family, but maybe not. My cousin Ellery Tully. Mm. Can we marry him to somebody? Maybe uh, like our sister or someone. Yeah, my daughter, but I don't really want to do that because uh, her children will not be of my dynasty. I first want to get a son, right? Then, then we may consider it. What about you, my man? No. Okay, he hates me. Okay. Fine. Okay, I am curious what we're gonna do with this dragon. He is still still chained in the pit, I guess. He is still uh, still still in the pit. Although I think he can probably uh, he can probably uh, escape uh, if we give him some more time. Okay, we're marrying the Lord of the North, King of the North, Lord Paramount of the North. Winton Karstark, who is the, yeah, the son of Benjamin II, who was married to Arya. Arya is still alive. He's not looking uh, so good anymore. <laughs> the realm will surely bleed. Maybe she will one day uh, regain uh, the North, but uh, not today. And maybe never. Who is the heir now to the North? Oh, John Karstark. Okay, that's a different guy. My lover Jomila is with child. All right. Son was born to King Ores of Yarn Twain and Alina named Willis. Uh, can we legitimize him? No, let's not, not do that. Acknowledge him as mine. Yeah, let's just make him a bastard. Well, we have a son already, okay. My wife doesn't like that, probably. Acknowledged bastard, yeah. Hmm. You know what? I, I think we're gonna break it off with, uh, with our lovers for now. Should we? Yeah, I want a legitimate son. So... Because if, if my wife hates me... Okay, th this woman is a massive seductress, so I guess we uh, we are still charmed by her, uh, her wiles. So let's, let's keep her. We need a new ambition. Uh, we can expand the realm conquest. Yeah, we can do that. At some point. Uh, we need more loyalists, I think. Master of the law. My, uh, the lady dowager. Or uh, Edric, Baratheon. Uh, put a pair out of the reach. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. We need to have him as, a, as, our, as our ally. King Oris. Valuable, certain valuable artifacts that are rightfully the property of House Stark are currently being unjustly held in the Iron Throne. I demand that they are returned intact to Hayford, or else we may resort to more direct means to retrieve them. Transfer ice from the treasury of Lord Burton the Just to the treasury of Lady Moria of Hayford. Okay, Lord Burton the Just. That's, I guess, the Lord of Castamere. Yeah, Burton Lannister. Yeah, I think I remember him. <laughs> he, uh, he has ice, yeah. Okay, so he, they want ice back. That seems reasonable to me. Yeah, that would seem like the wisest course. Artifact shall be sent to King's Landing immediately. All right. We'll give ice back to... Uh, the, the gods of E.T. Reformation. Okay, whatever. We'll give ice back to, uh, to the Lady Stark. Lady Moria Stark. Does she, does she have it now? Yeah, she does. Okay, great. So the Starks have ice again. They lost it for 40 years, but they have it back again. Very nice. And Lannister didn't even uh, didn't even melt it down. I would like to politely remind you of the gold that you owe. That that someone owes my house house, and hereby request that the coin is paid as soon as possible. Uh, okay. Do we now still own money? Yeah. Okay. So I guess he was not the only uh, guy who loaned us money. I don't know what what Oris is doing with all this money. I don't know why he loaned so much. You know what, guys? We're, gonna, we're approaching the end of the episode, and I kind of want to end on a, on sort of a, a nice, nice act because we've done nothing but set up our reign. And I'm not gonna look anything else up about this dragon. We're gonna just face it again. Let's do it. Face the dragon, Drogon. Come on, come on. Let's face Drogon in the dragon pit. There he is. Better not to stay here. You are mine. You will attempt to tame and mount Drogon. Yes. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you have successfully tamed Drogon. Okay, so Drogon killed our father. Drogon, uh, a couple of years ago, burned our face. Uh, but now we have returned to the dragon pit. Drogon was still chained up, I think. But he was... Yeah, he was, he was almost hurting himself. He was, he was getting angry. We approached him. 
uh, gently. We moved towards him. We showed him uh, our strength. We showed him our Valyrian steel armor. That probably impressed him a little bit. We showed him the burn scar. Uh, we showed him that we are. Yeah, we, we probably sort of had, uh, had a sort of dragon dreamish connection with him. Uh, yeah, we're ambitious. We tried it again, so I guess he respects that. So now we've tamed him. We've tamed Mighty Drogon. He's a very powerful dragon. The world is mine. The world is mine. Yes, okay. We are Dragon Rider. Dragon Rider. Oh, that's an awesome way to end this episode. <laughs> the world is mine. Drogon's whip added to that treasury. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What uh, we did, what our, dad, what our dad couldn't do, we rode the dragon. Where is he? Where's the dragon? Dragony boy. Here he is. Drogon. Ha! Locked in dragon pit. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that, really. Usually prevents dragons from flying away to Dragonstone upon their owner's death. We could, um... Could try to see if we can't uh, get to Dragonstone. That would help. Does Dragonstone have any particular... Dragon Mond? The volcano on the island of Dragonstone. The activity of which gave rise to the island. The castle of Dragonstone is a small fortress located on the face of the volcano. Still active. And then the dragons grow larger and live longer. Dragons located in this province. We might want to move to our, 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 our capital to Dragonstone. That sounds like fun. Let's think about that. For now we have a dragon, guys. <laughs> we have a, we are dragon. We, we not, not just any dragon, but Drogon, which is the, the, the largest of Daenerys' three dragons. Uh, for years, she he was he was tamed by uh, Rhaenyra, Rhaenys, Rhaenys Atraxiaris, but now Rhaenys died. She used the dragon pit for a while, so Drogon got used to it. We we had uh, we had a while to get used to Drogon. We probably rode on his back while Rhaenys was still uh, at our court. Uh, now we finally were able to tame him. Fantastic. Okay, what a way to end the episode. Thanks guys for watching, and uh, see you next time to see. What kind of place we're going to conquer with our dragons. Yes. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, goodbye.